<laughs> oh, sure, the old USB flash drive in the washing machine excuse is good when you're avoiding turning in your homework. Not that I've turned in homework in the last 30 years, but it ain't so much fun when you're actually not faking it. You did wash your USB key. Uh, I, my nephew sucked my USB key, got it all wet, and there was some good stuff on there, important stuff on there. Well, Darren Kitchen's here to show us, I don't know if he has a nephew, but he's going to show us how to rescue, or at least protect your data so this doesn't happen to you. Right. They easily get washed now. They're so small. Actually, we had a, uh, uh, somebody email us that said that they, they loved uh, one of the segments we did about the, USB, the programs you can put on your USB key. He right. was using it at school. For everything. Right. He had all of his programs oh, email, and Firefox, pro right? And then he lost it. Right. Left it at school. And he was like, what do I do? I'll never forget catching my nephew going... What you doing? <laughs> really? <laughs> now, it dried out and it worked again, but you can't always count on that. Right. So here's a way to back this stuff up. Right. And this is something that, you know, if you're going to do it, you do it before you lose it. Because what it's going to do is, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, I'll use give this you a one? demo. Go, go ahead, ahead and uh, plug that in. Where's, where's your port? Oh, I'm sorry. They're on this yeah, side. Yeah, over there. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this USB key because, uh, you know, Leo's here at the I'm university. I've been chewing on it, and I've got my, all my important papers on there. So he plugs it into this computer because he's yes. going to work on some photos That's and really some what documents. It is, isn't it? Right? And then get that girl's number from last night. That's what it really right. is, isn't it, Darren? Exactly. You know. You don't want to lose that. Don't want to lose that. So here are your documents, right? Okay. Well, that's all fine and dandy. Now maybe you leave. You go back home. And if we refresh our email, hey, look at that. How did that happen so fast? How did that happen? You this didn't do anything. Uh, no. no I, uh, let, me, let me take a step back. <laughs> You just by plugging it in, you emailed it to yourself yes. just by plugging it in? Just by plugging it in, and it is so simple to install. And fast, apparently. Right. Okay, so what okay. do we do? So first thing we do is we need a USB key that has U3 technology. That's a new technology that allows uh, it to auto-run right. stuff on your computer. Right, so if you've got a USB key that runs software, the minute you plug it in, it's got U3. Exactly. So okay. we take this U3 USB key, and we do a little hacking to it. We remove the data that's already on there, and we put our own custom payload on there, which will execute upon insertion. What I mean by that is, as soon as I plug this USB key in here, it's now installed the software onto this computer to back up your documents. Okay. So if you take a look at So in we're here, changing what the auto run does, basically. Right. So the auto run, you know, is on the CD right. partition of this USB key. We'll run our payload, which is in here, and what it is, is it's a combination of uh, OpenSSL, it's got BLAT, which is a command line utility to send email. It's got Stunnel, which is, you know, SSL connection, um, and a few other utilities and a modified version of a hack that a, uh, a French group did a few months ago called USB Dumper. So basically, we're going to put together a bunch of programs and a script mm -hmm. and do what we want it to do, which in this case is back up the data. Right. What this program originally did was you would install it on a computer and then when we it saw it you in, did it install right. everything yeah well, this is the reverse it's going to copy everything off the this thumb is drive. this is see like you put this on i don't know a computer at the university it's reverse thumper right yeah then anybody that plugs in their usb key into there this program's running will download all of the information off there and email it off to you so you can back it up for oh, them yeah back it up for them now i know why you're doing this this isn't a this is a hack no, this not. isn't backing up at all you, so in other words every u3 drive that's been modified this way right. will automatically copy its data over. Right. And now, then, you'd have to get a hold of somebody's drive. Of course. That. So we're, yeah. we're not assuming you're going to use I, I it for hacking think, purposes. No. But if you set this up on your own machine. Do it to your own drive. Yeah. That means that every time you plug in your USB key, it'll automatically download the information off of it and email it off to you. And I'm using Gmail here, so I mean, Can you so protect much. it so that it doesn't leave it on the drive there and make sure that it doesn't leave anything lying around? Otherwise, I'm going to leave my data files on the local drive. Oh, no, it doesn't. Here, let me show you it what It doesn't happens. leave a copy lying no, when around. You, when you plug in your it drive that installs it. it, what it does is it, it puts it in a folder in Windows that we call uh, $NTUninstall KB9337. Because nobody will ever see that. 31337, that's yes. the giveaway. Yes, and uh, that's a hidden folder. So in there, <laughs> we have batch file that when a uh, USB key is inserted, it'll run this batch file, and it's really simple. What it does is we set you know, the email that it's coming right. from and going to and the password for that, and then we tell it to... So you do have to modify the hard drive, the local hard drive, as well as the USB key. Right. So it really only works on your system. Right. But it's a very useful hack. We well, have all the nice details. It will install on both administrator or guest privileges. Perfect. All the details are on our website. I know there's a lot there, but the website will set it up for you and we'll get the whole thing going, and then every time you come visit our site, we'll just steal all your information. No, I'm just kidding. We'll back it up for you. <laughs> we'll back it up for you. Darren Kitchen is the producer and co-host of the great show, Hack 5, H-A-K, the number 5, dot O-R-G.